Hey guys, Jacob here. In today's video, as you guys know, it is the 19th of January 2020, which means that's going to be this week's vendor reset. As usual, we're going to be starting at the base of ops as the front desk vendor. This week, he is selling the Hanu Corporation Force Multiplier with skill damage, skill haste, and skill tier. I'd recommend picking this up if you guys do not have this. Uh, you know, it has 10% skill haste, which is at max, but you can change the skill damage to max, and you guys have a pretty decent backpack to work with. Next is going to be this police UMP with max damage to armor if you guys need that on your stat library. So you can add that to pretty much any SMG you want. I'm going to scroll through a few more items in case and you guys want to pick this stuff up. Or if you need any of the talents or any of the, you know, pretty much the mods they're selling. That's going to be about it for the front desk vendor. Next up is going to be the clan vendor. Keep this in mind. Make sure you guys are in a clan. If you are not, you will not have access to this vendor. And last time I checked, as soon as you guys walk up to here, or this wall right here, um, you won't be able to enter. Also, shout out to DoD and Kamikaze Von Doom. And the clan vendor is right here. This week, he's selling the Quiet Roar. This one's actually not too bad if you guys do not have it. Um, I have one that's way better, but I haven't really used this weapon that much. Um, but if you guys want to test it out, they are selling one this week. I'm going to scroll through a few more items in case any you guys want to pick this stuff up or need it for some kind of build. They are selling max SMG damage if you guys need that for your stat library. Other than that, that's all they're really selling at the base this week. Alright guys, the next location on the list is going to be the Theater Settlements. This week he's selling the Boomstick with pretty much very low rolls. I would not pick this up, uh, but if you guys don't have it, you can. If you want one like this, I'd highly recommend forming loot allocation areas. I'm going to scroll through a few more items in case any of you guys need this stuff and want to pick it up. Other than that, that's all they're really selling at the Theater Settlement this week. Next stop is going to be the Campus Settlement this week. She is selling the Punch Drunk Douglas and Harding Mask. This one has 11.3 weapon, max headshot and skill damage. You guys could max out the critical hit chance or damage on this and have a triple red D&H Punch Drunk Mask. But uh, obviously you guys can farm loot allocation areas if you want to find a better one. I'm going to scroll through a few more items in case any of you guys need this stuff and want to pick it up. But other than that, that's pretty much all they're really selling this week at the Campus Settlement. Alright guys, next location we are going to have is going to be DZ West. Keep this in mind, if you guys are new, you will have to acquire a new type of resource to buy these things by deconstructing gear and extracting it or finding little tiny boxes scattered around the dark zone. This week, they're selling the Rock and Roll Shotgun. This one has pretty low rolls. If you guys want one of these, I would recommend farming the loot allocation areas for shotguns. Uh, I usually go in the DZ to farm for this, and you can get it pretty easily as long as you keep hitting the landmarks. Scroll, scroll through a few more items in case any of you guys need this stuff for your stat library, but other than that, that's all they're really selling this week. And they're actually really not selling much at DZ West. Next up is going to be DZ South, and this week she's selling the Glory Days. This one has pretty low stats, but if you guys need this, then obviously you pick it up. But I'd wait and try picking this up once for sale in the open world areas or farm loot allocation assault rifles. I'm going to scroll through a few more items in case any of you guys want to pick this stuff up. But overall, they're not really selling anything that's interesting at DZ South. Alright guys, the next location is going to be DZ East. And this week, she's selling the Darkness Marksman Rifle. This is one of the only semi-automatic Marksman Rifles in the game besides the G28 and the SVD. Um, but this one's pretty low stat rolls. If you guys want this, you can pick it up. I'm going to scroll through for my items in case any of you guys want to pick these items up as well. Uh, but overall, they're not really selling anything this week at the Dark Zones. Kind of uh, depressing. I was hoping they'd be selling something that was pretty decent. One of these days, maybe they'll sell the apartment um, or even, you know, something better. But, uh, but that's me other guys uh, for the open world. Now we're going to go into New York City. Guys, the final stop on the list is going to be New York City. Keep this in mind, they don't sell any named items. It's all just yellow gear. Uh, but if you guys need this stuff, I'd recommend picking up. They are selling max rate of fire on LMGs. If you guys need this for your stat library, I'd recommend picking this up. They are selling max hazard for masks if you guys need that as well. Other than that, that's all they're really selling at the front desk vendor. If you guys take a left and go through here and take a right. And Roy Benitez will be right here and you can click on him, but 
This week, he's just pretty much selling average gear. If you guys need any of this stuff, I'd recommend picking it up, just even if it's the talents and you guys don't have them, and you can add them to your stat library. Or if you just see a roll, um, like they are selling max weapon handling if you guys do need that. Um, but overall, that's all they're really selling at New York City. Uh, which they had DZ vendors in here, uh, or just a DZ in general, so we have a few more vendors to go to and buy some more stuff. But overall, that's going to be this week's vendor reset. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division 2 content, and I'll catch you guys all.